Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by Mineral Explorer Impact Minerals, ASX code IPT. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Impact Minerals, Mike Jones. Hi, Mike. Yeah, hi, Matt. Okay, so Impact Minerals has a solid suite of gold and battery metals projects scattered across WA and New South Wales, one of which is subject to an $18 million farm in by mega miner IGO. More recently, however, the company picked up an advanced high-purity alumina project southwest of Norseman that just might prove to be a watershed moment for impact as the world clamours for metals that are critical to the new energy economy. Okay, Mike, what's this new HPA project called? How much land do you have and who discovered it and when? Yes, the project's called Lake Hope. As you said, it's near uh, Norseman in Western Australia. The area of key concern is about only three square kilometres and it was discovered by a geologist that I know and only in the last couple of years and he's been working on it, proved up what we believe is a world-class deposit. Mm, okay, is there a resource or expiration target over it at the moment? There's currently an expiration target which ranges between 600,000 to just over a million ton of alumina which is aluminium oxide and uh, we will be converting that into a mineral resource uh, within the next few months. What sort of grades is it showing? It's showing up to 27% aluminium oxide which is very high grade by anybody's standard. And what about at the lower end? What's the lower end of the exploration target? That is at about 24% so it's a very narrow range. Okay now I understand this project is on a lake. Does that make it easier or harder to mine? Look it's actually going to be very easy to mine. The ore is very soft. It's all in the top two metres. We're basically going to be able to dig it up, put it on a truck and get it off site to process it in an existing industrial area. And there's not a blade of grass or a living animal in that lake. So it's going to have a very low environmental footprint. Now, purity is a big thing for HPA. What purity levels are you aiming for and what indications of any have you already got of purity levels? So the initial work we've done, we've produced 99.99% aluminium oxide or alumina and uh, that is the standard benchmark for that material. So uh, the process that we have uh, is working beautifully so far and uh, we will be uh, pushing that forward as part of our feasibility studies. Tell me, what are the key uses for HPA and what sort of prices per tonne does it fetch these days? Well, there are three burgeoning markets uh, into which we hopefully will deliver the product in the next few years. Uh, the first one is uh, lithium anode batteries and we need coatings on those anodes. Uh, the second one is LED, light emitting diodes. There's a big push worldwide to replace the incandescent light bulbs with LEDs. It's a huge growth market. And then finally, uh, sapphire glass on the front of everyone smartphone. So it's a great space to be in to provide a new product to. Roughly what sort of prices per tonne does it fetch? We can take an average price across the board of about 20,000 US dollars per tonne. Mike Jones from Impact Minerals, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears today and remember we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should of course seek independently. I'm Matt Burney and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company interviews, go to the money page on the 6PR, 2GB, 3AW and 4BC websites and click the public companies tab.